and Casa de Dia. Yeah, I'm being I'm being moved along here. Casa de Dia, come on, Carl, hurry up. Uh, bon Dia, lovely homesteaders, uh, sunshine uh, PT uh, emoticon from Stephanie. Good morning to you, Stephanie. So yes, let's go uh, into that um, Casa de Dia. But before we do, look, my daughter has this tattooed on her arm. I think to her it represents us being here. The word soldad, amazing. That's been um, well and truly adopted there in the Healy household. Okay, this is a big house, a manor house I'm about to share with you, which we can all live in, you know, like the Beatles did. Was that in help? And the monkeys, didn't they all live together? And Morecambe and Wise, of course, all these great partnerships. Um, let me just press the button and make sure I don't crash the show. Boom, I've done it. Well done. Um, not the best picture, um, a calzada path, but it probably belongs to the property I'm about to talk about. There it is. Um, we, if we really, um, we should do this slowly, take it steady, get to know each other better. You know, it feels like we know each other already from the uh, Good Morning Portugal liaison that we have at nine every morning, uh, weekday mornings anyway. Um, if we if, if we choose to start a commune or community um, with all the kind of stuff that you know, comes to mind of, of, of the heady life of communities, my goodness, um, this is the place we could choose, the Grand Manor in Oliveira do Hospital, Coimbra District, manor house with eight bedrooms, land of just over 6,000 square metres, two wells, and many outbuildings for the children, I guess. Um, and let's go back to those pictures. The description is manor house, completely restored, keeping some original features with four annexes. Is that all? Garden and land with olive trees and fruit trees. Ground floor with two lounges, two bathrooms, one storage room, one extra room where there is a wood boiler installed. This could be the HQ, couldn't it, for the very spirit that the that um, the president is talking about. You know, from where on, in the, the the network of rebuilding of Portugal, as we the lessons that were not learned in the Spanish flu, learnt in the COVID era, as we reindustrialize Portugal and recover from this savage blow of COVID. Anyway, enough of that. Uh, first floor, kitchen with access to large terrace. Kitchen on the first floor. Large living room, small living room. Wow. Two bedrooms and bathroom with shower. This floor is accessed by two exterior entrances. Um, yes, yeah, so you can make a swift exit, stage left or right from this residence. Uh, second floor, six bedrooms. One, It's like upstairs, downstairs. One of which has access to a terrace with beautiful views and a room that serves as an office. You need an office, wouldn't you, to oversee a, an operation of this kind? That's uh, probably a full-time job. There are four annexes, garden with barbecue, and a space where you can rebuild a garage. You could rebuild it. What happened to the old one, I wonder? Maybe it's a, you know, maybe this is owned by an eccentric person who drove too fast one evening into the old garage, which now needs rebuilding. Um, I don't know that for sure. I, clearly, I made that up, and I do not wish to cast nasturtiums at the previous owner. Just a, just a thought that entered my mind over fertile imagination. Annex one, space next to the house, use the workshop. Annex two, three, and Annex two has got three rooms of its own, uh, used for storage of different materials. <clears throat> Excuse me. Annex three with three independent rooms that where there is a laundry room, one bathroom with bathtub and shower, and a bread oven. You can have a bath while smelling the aroma of freshly baked bread and the smell of laundry. Is that a good idea to have your bread oven in the same room as the laundry? I'm thinking there could be drawbacks to that. Land outside. <clears throat> Goodness gracious. Excuse me, sip of tea. While, while you look at the picture. Hold on. Just imagine yourself there. Okay. Land of 6,000 and 32 square meters. Central heating, air conditioning, two wells, electricity mains, and connection to basic sanitation. Beautiful garden access to Portuguese sidewalk. You saw that picture. Double glasses. Double, double glazing, I'm guessing. Two entrances to the electric gates. Village is located in a very peaceful place, about four kilometers from the city of Oliveira do Hospital, a location with all amenities and services. About 35 km from Serra de Estrela National Park and 50 kilometers from the great city of Vizier. Um, what do you like? Do you like Vizier? I, I wasn't taken by it when I went. It has its charms, but not a favorite of mine, I have to say. Um, but a lot of people do love it, just my opinion. Um, a property with great potential for a tourism project. That said about Vizier, this is a fantastic location. If I zoom out, um, you'll see, look, um, Serra de Estrela Mountains go uh, west for near to where I live. You know, you're going towards um, Aveiro and Mira on the coast there, uh, into Spain pretty quickly, Fundão, Covilha, 
uh, pretty close. Well, they're close, but you, you've got to drive across the mountains, so that takes some time. Um, near Arganil and Goish with their fabulous river beaches. And yeah, look, you can go north, of course, as well. Um, Aguarda there, Villarreal to your north. So pretty awesome location, really, in central Portugal. Let's have a look at a few photos, and then we'll come back to your comments. Um, that's the photo, not the building that's wonky, I'm hoping. Um, not one of the kitchens, or has it only got one kitchen? But look, it's massive. It's huge. And um, look at that a lovely through lounge there. This is this a restaurant bar, isn't it, really? Uh, it looks to me like it might have been a discotheque or something like that back in the day. Uh, maybe, I don't know. But it could still be, couldn't it? And look, uh, there's your barbecue. It wasn't photographed on the sunniest of days, but I bet you get some beautiful days there. And this is a beautiful building that would just shine in the sunshine there, right? As possibly the communal headquarters or the Good Morning Portugal Hotel, boutique hotel. But yours for 345,000 euros seems like quite a big chunk, obviously. But between five people, it's not a lot of money, is it? Between 10 people, it's even a tinier amount um, if you wanted to buy it as a syndicate. PurePortugal.co.uk, MRB, Mike, Romeo, Bravo, 345, the Grand Manor, Oliveira do Hospital. Let's uh, leave that Casa do Dia there, come back for a few of your comments. And um, let's see now. I was told there is no English translation or word for Sodad. And I think you're probably right, Neil. Bittersweet doesn't quite do it, does it? But we get that sense, don't we, of the longing, of the utter sadness, whilst having a happiness about it as well. That's, you know, let's say that's uniquely Portuguese. Let's not try and find a word for it um, in English. We re I really get it. I mean, just from that definition, I was nearly crying by the end of the sentence. Uh, great program today. Drama, culture, history and comedy. Thank you, Gary. Let's leave it there, shall we? Um, yes, I won't outstay me. Welcome. I would just wish you bon fin de semana. Have a great weekend. Carry on celebrating uh, Dia de Portugal. And yeah, let's let's reflect on the president's words. I think he's right. This is an, you know, this has been a terrible time in many ways, but an incredible clearing, an incredible opportunity to rethink, to reinvent and to celebrate networks like ours. I'm so grateful for, to you all. Thank you for all your lovely words, uh, you know, of comfort and uh, sucker earlier on this week when I wasn't feeling too great. Lovely to know you're there. And um uh this this is these are the sort of communities i think we need for the future so lovely to know you there and of course final word from peter not only drama culture history and comedy but beer as well and a wine club another good morning portugal wine club under the excellent leadership of eloise a week tomorrow with a bairrado red okay guys um cinco estrellas uh, to all of you bon fin de semana take care bye for now the logo Adios,